Hello, welcome to Podcast vs. Player. Uh, today we are doing our what it would have been our 2023 wrap up, but it's 2024, so it's a look back at 2023. I am joined by Dan. Bonjour. Bonjour. And we are joined by Quizmaster Zoe. Hello there. Oh, hello there, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is the who can look back at 2023 and answer the most correct questions about topics from categories that Zoe has chosen quiz. <laughs> um, I'm going to say quite confidently, Callum, not me, because I don't remember anything that <laughs> happened in 2023. Certainly. Do you remember anything that happened yesterday? Uh, <laughs> it was last year. <laughs> it was last year. Category gaming question one. In 2023, the voice of Mario, who had voiced the Italian plumber since 1996, announced that he was retiring. Who was this legend? Fuck. <laughs> Take a guess. I could point him out in a lineup. I, 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 oh, I know what his name is. Okay. Okay. You both got an answer? Yeah. I mean, I've got a answer. Right. Question number two. Grand Theft Auto released its long-awaited trailer this year for GTA 6, 10 years since its predecessor. How many units in the first week did GTA 5 sell? Ooh, in the first week. Just take a jumping guess. Whoever is closest will get the point. Okay. I think big. So, Tom Hanks. <laughs> uh, boom, boom. No, I've got a answer to guess. Mm. You got an answer, Dan? I have indeed. Okie dokie, next question. Who won the most awards at the 2023 Game Awards? And there's a hmm. bonus point for how many awards that they won. When you say who, do you mean what game? Or what yes, studio? Really. Or, right, okay. yeah. What game? Okay, I'll clarify that. What game won the most awards at the 2023 Game Awards? Okay. Bonus point for how many awards? Okie dokie, both got an answer? Yep. Mm -hmm. Next question. After holding this event for over 28 years, what yearly awaited gaming event decided to finish this year for good? Done. Mm -hmm. Got an answer, Dan? Yep, yep, yep. ready? Question number five. Alan Wake 2 was released this year, 13 years after the first. The developers have kept hush-hush about how many units the second game of the series has sold. How many units did Alan Wake 1 sell? That was like... A 13 long time. years well, 13 ago. 13 years ago, probably Callum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was one of the people that bought it. Um, the first one. The first one, yeah. yeah. Sorry, so is that total units? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So you take a roundabout guess, whoever's closest will win. Just a guess. Yeah. Question number six. What was the best selling game of 2023? Mm. Okay. Callum's just taking a guess. Have you got one? Yep. All right, then, on to the next category. In the spotlight, which is basically your news roundup. Okay. Question number one. 50 years after they split, the Beatles released a never-heard song this year. What was it called? They released another song? I Apparently don't... so. Oh, no one's ever heard it, so how are we going to know? Yeah, how am I supposed they to clearly know? clearly released it this year. <laughs> I mean, it's been everywhere, so at least on a journey somewhere, you would have heard it. I genuinely didn't know they had a No, one. neither did so I, I, if I'm honest. So took a guess. Yeah. Question number two. Big Brother somehow made its way back Fucking onto hell, screens did this it? year. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to do well on this one, Dan. No, I agree, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but can you name the first ever winner from the series? Oh, I actually can. Oh, I'm glad you can. <laughs> um. 
Have you just took a guess there, Dan? <laughs> a big one, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Question number three. After the passing of Queen Elizabeth II in 2022, King Charles was coronated in May of this year. How many people in the UK watched the coronation? Were you one of them, Dan? I was not. <laughs> Dan wasn't even aware the Queen had died. <laughs> <laughs> Which Queen are we talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Mercury. <laughs> oh, my God, you both there. Yeah. Yep. Question number four. Boris Johnson sat down as Prime Minister this year following his leadership <laughs> and his trust <laughs> was appointed the next PM. How long was she PM for? Oh, that's a good question. I think I'm right. I don't think I am, but <laughs> I, 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 that is one thing that I, I remember. She's like, oh, I, I'm going to, you know, I, I don't care how much sort of backlash and, you know, how much controversy and how much the public hate me. I'm going to be prime minister until the next. And then it was like almost she immediately. She the queen. Like, oh, off she yes. goes. <laughs> <laughs> she meets the queen. The queen dies in two days. Oh, Oops. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> anyway, question number five. Elon Musk purchased Twitter this year for an eye-watering $44 billion. What is Twitter's new name? Okay, well, thank you for giving me an easy one there. Billion. Yeah, $44 billion. <sighs> Imagine just having that money just to be like, you know what, I fancy buying something. Just a little treat. No wonder he uses it like his own personal platform as well. <laughs> it's yeah. like his journal. Well, it is his, pa- it is. <laughs> it's his personal thing. It's like, whatever no, no, you want to say. It's not like he's bought yeah. it because, like, oh, you know, this is a big up and comer. I'm going to invest in it. I'll make a bunch of money off it. It's like, no, I'm going to buy this for me so I can use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Donald Trump back on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. Question number six. Sadly, Matthew Perry died this year. He starred in many roles, oh, but by far his most famous <laughs> role was that of Chandler Bing in Friends. What was Chandler Bing's job? Oh, that's such a good question. And yes, I did research it. It's an actual job. Okay. <laughs> You're right, Rachel's answer, aren't you? God, I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. He just got right smirk on his face. Like, That's not a serious answer, is it? Uh, I put a, I put transponster slash. I put, yeah. I, I've I've genuinely put uh, transponster quote uh, brackets quote from Rachel Green. <laughs> God damn it! Both of them a joke. <laughs> you both had the same joke. Yeah, but I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> Well, we definitely got that wrong, Dad. <laughs> right then. That's not even a word. <laughs> <laughs> Next category: movies on TV. Sorry, I just so I just need one sec on. Oh, sorry. That job. Okay, sorry. Yep, done. Okay, you ready? Yep. Question number one: Disney turned a hundred years old this year, but what was the first Disney film released? We actually had this in our Disney quiz, Dan. <laughs> did we now? Ain't going to remember that. We did. I don't remember seeing a Disney quiz, if I'm honest. When was oh. that? <laughs> Do you know what? The thumbnail was you as Rapunzel and the... Um, what's the little chameleon's name? Oh, God. Pascal. Little gecko. Pascal, yeah. See, yeah. I can remember both. that, but I, I don't remember a stick. When did we do it? Was it a Sporkle one? <laughs> are, are we the ultimate Disney princesses? Oh, mate. Yeah, it was a, spork- it was a Sporkle one. No, bloody hell. It was on there and I was looking at how we did this quiz last year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, that's fun, yeah. Anyway, question number two. Barbie was released this year. It dominated the box office oh, for months. But how much did it take home on its first week? First week? First week. Assume these ones are going to be just like whoever's closest. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if you got it right, like to the thing, obviously you'd get the point. You, anyway. No, you'd be cheating. <laughs> I if don't that see was that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got an answer. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Question number three. Speaking of Barbie, they went toe to toe with Oppenheimer, not just on release dates, but on popularity. Which rank higher in earnings? <coughs> Everybody got an answer? Yep. Okie dokie. Question number four. The Last of Us, the TV series, was released this year with Pedro Pascal taking on the role of Joel. How many people watched its premiere? Ah, fucking... <laughs> Take a guess! Well, it was me, you, <laughs> Dan. Did you watch it, Dan? I didn't watch its you premiere, it? no. I did, like, watch it as it came out on HBO Max, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Wink. <laughs> um Yes. Ready? Yep. Question number five. The Super Mario Bros. movie was released this year, but when was the first movie starring Bob Hoskins released? Okay. Again, whoever got the closest will probably get the answer to that one. Sure. Kiddo okay, Keep. Okay. Question number six. Across the Spider Verse was released this year. Incredible film. But can you tell me when Spider Man first made his appearance in Marvel Comics? Do you mean like a, a year? Mm hmm. I mean, uh, if you can get the date as well, I, you get an extra point. The okay. worst thing is, I could tell you the exact issue number, the year, and what the comic's called, because it's there next to your leg. <laughs> then I request an additional but, question, please. You can't but, see it here. But, can but, I can't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my it, God. I can't see it. <laughs> If you move that, if you move that, thing, I'm not going to move it though because we did not see it. So God no. damn it! <laughs> I'm taking a punt on month a year there, so why not? Why well, you get an extra point if you get the month as well? <laughs> well, I'm not confident in the year to be fair, so I, it's okay. two shots in the dark. No, I just took a massive guess. Right then, are we ready so for the answers? Okay. Yeah. Gaming. Question, question number one. In 2023, the voice of Mario, who voiced the Italian plumber since 1996, announced that he was retiring. Who was this legend, Dan? Uh, I put not Chris Pratt. <laughs> I mean, you're right. But <laughs> yes, point to me. <laughs> no. oh. I, I put Paul Mario. <laughs> Paul Mario. <laughs> I can, I can That's his dad, you idiot. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> God damn it. I honestly can't remember, but... Well, when I press this, you're going to know. We were talk obviously, because <laughs> we'll see the answer. But when we talked about the movie on the podcast, yeah, uh, it was fresh in my mind. So we should have done this quiz then. <laughs> that was at the start of the year. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. out for yeah. the end of the year roundup. It was Charles, Charles Marnett. God damn it. I know his face very well, but no, I, yeah. I could not should remember should have asked you to draw a picture. Fun fact, he's in the movie. Oh, yeah, he was at the game and things. He's wasn't in he? the cafe thing, he's playing on the game. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're ready for it. question number two. Grand Theft Auto released its long awaited trailer this year for GTA 6, 10 years since its predecessor. How many units in the first week did GTA 5 sell, Cal? I put 200 million. I put 10 million. And the answer is 16 million. Oh, so Dan. Dan gets the point for that. I'll take that, thank you very much. See, I know that it's like its total sales was somewhere in the region of like 200 million. But yeah, yeah I was thinking of like pre-orders and week one. I don't think it'd be actually, super yeah, huge, super huge. On your your podcast, Minecraft only sold like 300 million. No, Tetris. Yeah, overall, yeah. Yeah, and that was the highest selling. I think you're, <laughs> you're probably thinking of like, how much did it cost to make? Because that was probably, about, yeah. it's like <laughs> two, three hundred million, something like that. It's crazy. It probably wasn't far lives. off earning that all together, if that's what it did in its first week. Because, I mean, it's been out well, again. It dips off, doesn't it? Ten yeah. years. So, Those right, shark cards. Ready? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Question number three. 
Who won the most awards at the 2023 Game Awards? Bonus point for how many awards they won. Dan? Um, I went with the game being Baldur's Gate 3 and yep. a total of eight awards. Cal? Yes, Baldur's, Gate, Baldur's Gate 3, seven awards. Ooh. Answer was Baldur's Gate 3 and they won six awards. So oh, Cal gets, Cal gets two on that. that. Yeah, nice yeah. one. I mean, you were both very close, in all fairness. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't remember exactly. Because we literally went through every fucking award that was given out this so year. So you did that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. But I, yeah, I don't remember specifics. Okie dokie. Question number four. After holding this event for over 28 years, what yearly awaited gaming event decided to finish this year for good? Cal? Uh, E3 or the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Yes, I also have Dan, E3. <laughs> E3, point for you both. Question number five. Alan Wake 2 was released this year, 13 years after the first game. The developers have kept hush hush about how many units the second game of the series has sold. How many units did Alan Wake 1 sell? Dan? I put 15 million. Cal? See, I've put this answer, which I feel is too high, even though it is overall, but it didn't sell very well, but 150 million. 4.5 million. Oh, so me. Dan gets the point. <laughs> I think I don't think you understand how numbers work, mate. No, because it was overall. But like yeah, all but time. I don't know. He said how many people do you think well. buy games? <laughs> it's not that many. <laughs> I mean, clearly a lot. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having like... Yeah, we're GTA part of that like 4.5 million. million, but not everybody else is. <laughs> Fucking 150 <laughs> million. I'm pretty sure Minecraft only high. sold that many. <laughs> Bloody hell. We've already established Minecraft has sold more than that. <laughs> yeah. We did it on the podcast. <laughs> anyway, next next question. <laughs> what was the best selling game of the what? The what? what was the best selling <laughs> game of twenty twenty three, Dan? Uh, I went I'm not sure, but I went with Baldur's Gate three as well. I went Spider Man two. Ooh, you are cool. both wrong. It was Hogwarts Legacy. Really? Interesting. Yep. I mean we I both know that it. came out. <laughs> So, I've got that game done. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it, great. You got it before me. Yeah. What, what house are you? Uh, I am Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. <laughs> yeah. I'm Hufflepuff. Don't laugh. I'm Slytherin. I'm the best one. I, my replay is definitely going to be in Slytherin, but I'm Ravenclaw. <laughs> the nerds. <laughs> I got two right. Uh, I, are we going to top up at the Oh, end? okay. Yeah, let's probably. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, no, 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 I'm going to make a note of that. Okay, okay. Were you, well, you not doing that as we were going along? No, no. For each one, I'm just as a total for that. For that. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Into the spotlight answers. Oh yeah. Fifty years after they split, the Beatles <laughs> released a never before heard song this year. What was it called, Cal? Daisy Chain Tornado. That's a great name. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, I went with the firm. The <laughs> firm. Now and then. Ah, oh, we were both pretty close. <laughs> oh. I had the I same number of words one, almost. Though. How does that song go then? I, I think it sounds very similar to the other songs. No. Like oh, early. that's that, that's a get yeah. out of jail free card there. Uh, what does it sound like? Oh, like music. You know what it sounds like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, you know, you if it's that classic before, Beatles song, it's like, oh, it's that. You couldn't tell if it was new or old, but yeah. Right. Because they play it a lot at work, but it's like, that sounds just like an older song. How is that? New? But yeah, anyway. Question number two. Big Brother somehow made a return to TV screens this year, but can you name the first ever winner from the series, Cal? Now, I said I know what it is, but I can remember his first name, so I put Craig the Builder Man. Dan? I went with Joey Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it was Craig Phillips. Yeah, so get do I get point. the point? You did, because I mean, it's yeah. technically Craig the Builder, which is very specific. Oh, was that the dude that um, keeps popping up on Bo Selector? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. he's oh, still on yeah. um, DIY or SOS. Yeah, or something he, he does like, like that. TV shows. Yeah, now. yeah. Or what's that? A makeover in 60 minutes, something like that. He's yeah, definitely one on of one of them, of them anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's a scouser. Yeah. He was a nice guy. Anyway. I guess. <laughs> Question number three. After the passing of Queen Elizabeth II in 2022, King Charles was coronated in May of this year. How many people in the UK watched the coronation, Dan? Uh, I went with 40 million. 40, yeah. 4 0, Cal? yes. 18.5 million. And the answer is 18 million. So, can you get the point for that? That is very close. Because I did it on my yearly wrap up. Oh, did you? Oh, did my, you? My, <laughs> big, my big long post. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered there was an 18. 
Oh, you got so. right. Right then. Question number four. Joris Bonson. No, the <laughs> Joris, Joris Bonson. Joris Bonson. <laughs> 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 Joris Bonson. Yeah. Can you, can you imagine? You know, we had all this shit with the WhatsApp <laughs> messages and stuff. <laughs> Because he goes, no, uh, I think you'll find that those those, those were were Joris Bonson's messages. Fucking hell, Zen. Oh god. Oh god. Boris Johnson. Yeah. Stepped down as prime minister this year. Sorry, I think you mean the uh, Ryan Pinister, but carry on. <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> Liz Truss was appointed the new PM. How long was she PM for, Dan? Uh, I'm not sure, but I said seven weeks. But two months. Forty-nine days. So okay, so I sort think of I was closer. <laughs> yeah, because two months would be sixty-something days. Seven weeks would be actually no. I think Dan, you're closer. Hold on, let's get the old calculator. The typing is calculator stuff, by the way. Okay. Uh, so what was it? Forty-nine days. So yeah. Divide that. Seven is seven weeks. Yeah. Yes, it does. There you go. Bang gets the point then. Thank you very much. About fucking time. Bloody hell. This one is not going well for me at all. <laughs> Question number five. Elon Musk purchased Twitter this year for an eye-watering $44 billion. What is Twitter's new name, Cal? MySpace. No, X. <laughs> Dan? Oh. Uh, X, yeah. X, correct. It is correct. <laughs> so so we steamrolled ahead. I'm sorry, press the wrong button. Sadly, Matthew Perry died this year. He starred in many roles, but his most famous role was Chanya Bing in Friends. Chanya? I can't speak. What was Chanya... Chandler <laughs> Bing's job? <laughs> Bandler Ching. <laughs> it's Chanandler Bong, actually. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cal, you go. take a guess. Well, I'd, I'd put Transponder, quote from Rachel Green, and then I'd just put Finance Merger. Ooh. Okay, Dan. Uh, I also put Transponster, um, but then I put Forensic Accountant. I think it's something accounts-based, but I, I don't know the specifics, unfortunately. He was a statistics analyst and data reconfiguration. He was statistical analysis and data reconfiguration. That was his job. I so don't think really... anyone gets that right. No, no I, don't I don't think, think so. you either no. got that right. Because, I mean, you were both somewhat close, but technically that wasn't what... You both wrote. Well, there the wasn't a is, single though. word that I think we had that matched there, so <laughs> I don't think we can Well, give... you said accounts in a way, which I suppose is data, but it's, yeah. that's more specific, isn't it, an accountant? Yeah, yeah. I, that wasn't what I was thinking by any means. But no. it's, it's never said in the show, though, is it? It's not. I'd say I had to yeah, look it up if to... I had actually someone put yeah. it. No, no. I, I Actually, yeah. I think it is. I think someone's, like, he, he does, like, uh, always looking for a job or whatever, and he says statistical analysis and data, and someone's like, oh, what the fuck's that job? And he's like, that's what I do now. <laughs> but then I think after that he was in um, marketing because you remember the skates. Yeah, yeah, he did like the. Yeah, um, he left and did advertising, but yeah. this is yeah. what he was getting paid through the arse for. Yes, yeah. yeah. Right then. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Two points. Don't forget them. Yeah. Movies and TV. Disney turned 100 years old this year, but what was Disney's first film released, Dan? Uh, Snow White. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, it was Sleeping Beauty. Steamboat Willie! Wait, Steamboat Willie wasn't a movie, that's, was it? That's not a feature film. That's what it was when I searched. That's the first... That it's was the, that'd the be first the first short. animation. Yeah. Well, that so, I, dem I demand Go Zoe Google's... I, no. I second that demand because I okay. also don't. I, I think you're actually right. Now that I think about it, I think it might I'm actually pretty be sure, Sleeping Beauty. If I remember right, then I could be wrong. But when when we did the are we the best? Are we the ultimate Disney princesses? Yeah. The we both said Snow White, but the actual answer was Sleeping Beauty. I'm sure it of is right. actually Snow White. Oh, it's Snow White. So we were just study it the other way around then. So oh, Dan, okay. Dan, yeah. Dan got it right. I demand it was Steamboat Willie. <laughs> I disagree on that demanding. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Right there. Steamboat Willie with your pathetic I questions. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think I could trust any of the answers now, Dan. I know, right. That's why, right. I, I that's why I'm doing so badly. <laughs> I want to demand a recount on all of these. Barbie was released this year. It dominated the box office for months. How much did it take home for the first week? 
Five hundred million dollars. Okay, uh, Dan. Uh, I went with two hundred and seventy, two seven zero million. Five hundred million. Oh my God! Excellent Bang show. on. Wowzers! I knew it First was something week. ridiculous. I didn't think it was that much. Wow! I'd love yes. to know how much it is Dan. overall. <laughs> I oh, agree it's... with these answers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question number three. Speaking of Barbie, they went toe to toe with Oppenheimer, and not just release date, but with popularity. But which ranked higher in earnings? Dan? I, I'm, I'd still say Barbie. Yeah, I said Barbie. Barbie, you're correct, sirs. Yes. Yeah. It had to. There's no way Oppenheimer was I think making it was close, to be honest. on its first week. I think it was close. Really? Yeah. I don't think that's got anything to do with the subject matter, though. I think that's just because of the internet. Yeah, of how popular it was. And all. Yeah. I think it was a case of that they were showing at most cinemas not far after each other. Mm. So people saying, oh, I've heard about Oppenheimer. I've gone to see Barbie. I'm going to see Oppenheimer afterwards. So Very yeah, different just, tones. I've, I've just yeah. sat and watched through Barbie. I, I, I'm, or the I other way I'm around. <laughs> to sit through three hours of depressing. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd definitely watch Oppenheimer and then go into Barbie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> at least I'd leave the cinema in a good mood. But... <laughs> I don't know. It's quite depressing at the end. It's really good, though. But no, it's a really good film, film, yeah. Right then. Question number four. The Last of Us TV series was released this year with Pedro Pascal taking on the role of Joel. How many people watched its premiere? Cal? I was just laughing because there was no way you could mess up Pedro Pascal because they're the same letter. <laughs> well, you <laughs> shut your face! <laughs> um, I said 14, 14 million. How many did you put, Dan? I, I went with uh, 3 million. 4.7 oh, million, so Dan, you get the Bang point. Hunting. Question number five. The Super Mario Bru- oh. Bros. The Super Mario Bros. movie <laughs> the was Mubisario released this year. Bros. I'm going to slap you. <laughs> was released this year. But when was the first movie starring Bob Hoskins released? Bob Hoskins, you mean? <laughs> I, I said 92. I said 1990. I think it might be a bit early. 1993, Ooh. so Cal gets the point. You're both very close, though. Early. And lastly, question number six. Across the Spider-Verse was released this year, but can you tell me when Spider-Man first made his appearance in Marvel Comics? Dan, you want to hazard a guess at the year? Uh, yeah, 1963, I'm saying. That seems a bit early. It's 83. 1963, oh. Dan. Oh my oh, fucking bang God, are on. you kidding me? No. Bang on. <laughs> I, went, I said, because I said oh, I've guessed a month and a year, I put August 1963. Can you confirm if it's in August? I'll have a look at the date. I, I would like I, to I'd make a... Uh... the year. August 1963. Whoa. Are you winding me up? Nope. Outrageous. Can I request a bonus point? No. Yes, you can, actually. Yeah. I did yeah. say that I did say that during the question, oh, did you? if you got um, the month correct, but I didn't actually research the that month. Was a, just how that. the fuck did I manage that? All right, I'm then, more boys. annoyed that I've got it. You haven't got it. Oh, the comic. No, yeah, the yeah. actors. Like, I, I, I should fucking know. <laughs> Zoe, Jesus, what a burnet. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't get shit. Right then, boys. Tally up your scores. Uh, eight. I got 11. Well done, Dan. Well done, Dan. Thank Dan you. Dan is the winner, that... so we do not need that. Well, shall we that... just do the tiebreakers anyway? No. Yeah, fuck it. Oh. For, for shits and gigs, yeah. why not? I want to see Zoe fuck up another question. Oh, my God. Not tiebreakers, then. Just extra just questions. questions. Additional questions. Additional questions. <laughs> Flashpoint round. Question number one. Who earned more at the box office? Blue Beetle or The Flash? Uh, I Neither. probably said The Flash. <laughs> I would say Blue Beetle. Flash, don't ah, the point. Yeah. Question I, I, number I, I they no both did real bad. Yeah, no say, one like, knows who Blue Beetle is, is man. <laughs> it was a good film, though, in all fairness. It's all right. I still haven't watched it. <laughs> it was a good film. Who earned more the first week, Wonka or Aquaman? Wonka. I'd say probably Wonka as well, to be fair. Musical. Surprisingly, Aquaman. Really? It was closer. I think Aquaman got 53 million and I think Wonka got 51. Wow. So it was very, very close. Well done, Dan. Well done, Dan. Thanks. Thank you, Zoe, as well, for finally pulling your weight and throwing a quiz together. Um, you could have practiced on reading a bit better, but... Have a shut your face, Daniel. <laughs> I'll take the win, though. So thank you, everyone. And thank you, 2023, for being yet another shit show of a year for the human race. Well done. 
Yeah. Um, if you want to see more of these kind of things, more of the other quizzes and more of the Let's Plays and podcasts and reviews that we've done, you go to podcastversusplay.com. It's all going along the bottom of the screen right now. I just pointed and I haven't got the camera on, so it was <laughs> you know, useless. But anyway, thank you, Dan. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Cal. We're going to scarper. So we'll see you in a bit. Bye. 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 He's currently dating twins. Asked how you tell them apart. He said, easy. Anna always paints her nails red. And Tom's got a big cock. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching a documentary on ship assembly. It was riveting. <laughs> <laughs> Who's livid? He had some Nickelback tickets on the passenger seat of his car and someone smashed the window and left two more. <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> bought James Corden a pug as a gift Despite the squash nose, bulging eyes and rolls of fat The dog seems to like him Who <laughs> told me if you were surprised that Jeffrey Epstein committed suicide Imagine how surprised he must have been Who <laughs> <laughs> asked me what has eight arms and sucks Nickelback <laughs> <laughs> He's bought Nickelback's greatest hits. It's just a blank CD. <laughs> <laughs> Who accidentally clicked on a pop-up that said he'd won tickets to see Nickelback. Luckily, it was only a virus. Who <laughs> 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 asked me what you call children board in whorehouses? Brothel sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Who asked me what you call a Mexican bodybuilder who's run out of protein? No way, Jose. 